Today I'm going to explain Pasti Chemistry Chapter 6 Question Number 2 The composition of ammonium hydrogen sulfide on heating in a seed flask is an endothermic process. If Kp for this reaction is 0 0.11 at 25 degrees Celsius, determine the partial pressure of NH3 and the total pressure in the flask at equilibrium. Based on the Kp value, calculate Kc for this reaction at the same temperature. Using Le Chatelier's principle, explain how increasing the temperature will affect the equilibrium. What will happen to the pressure of NH3 if some H2S is removed from the flask? First of all, we will determine the partial pressure of NH3 and the total pressure in the flask at equilibrium. To find the partial pressure of NH3, we can form ice table. But first, based on the equation, we will ignore NH4, HS because it is solid. In the ice table, the initial pressure of NH3 will be zero, the delta P will be positive X and P at equilibrium will be X. We will use the formula Kp equals to P H2S times P and H3. We will substitute the Kp value which is 0 0.11 equals to X times X. It will be X squared and X will become 0 0.332. The partial pressure of NH3 will become X and it will become 0 0.332 atm. For the total pressure at equilibrium, it will be the pressure of H2S plus pressure of NH3. Since H2S is also X based on the ice table, so it will become 0 0.332 and the total pressure will become 0 0.664 atm. Next, based on the Kp value, calculate Kc for this reaction at the same temperature. To find Kc, we will use the formula Kp equals to Kc RT delta N. Delta N will be the the total the total number of mole for the product minus total number of mole for the reactant. So based on the equation, the delta N will be two minus zero, and we will get two. So we will just substitute the value for Kp equals to zero point one one and R will become 0 0.08206 and T will become 298 and we will get Kc equals to 1.84 times 10 negative 4 For the last one, by using Lee Chatelier's principle, explain how increasing the temperature will affect the equilibrium and what will happen to the pressure of NH3 if some H2S is removed from the flask. The increasing temperature will cause endothermic reaction and the equilibrium will shift to the right. It will consume the added heat until the new equilibrium is re-established. If H2S is removed from the flask, the pressure of NH3 will increase. That's all. Thank you. That's all for this video. Please do remember to subscribe, like and share. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye!